The goal of affordable housing moving closer to reality. Good evening, everyone. I'm Keisha Adderley, and welcome to The Bahamas Tonight, the National Report. Topping the news tonight, the Prime Minister describing the 2018 Affordable Homes Bill as one of the government's most ambitious programs for the Bahamian people. Prime Minister Dr. The Honorable Hubert Minnis listing some of the details of the Affordable Homes Bill once it becomes law in the House of Assembly this afternoon. He said the government wants to address the increasing demand for home ownership for Bahamians to ensure that everyone who lives in this country can own their own home. Altavis Munnings has more on his contribution to Parliament this afternoon. Altavis. Good evening, Kishla, and good evening, Bahamas. Comparing the importance of home ownership to that of addressing climate change and obesity across the country, Prime Minister Dr. The Honorable Hubert Minnis touted the 2018 Affordable Homes Act as a necessity. The Prime Minister revealed in the House of Assembly this afternoon that average lots under this act will cost around $30,000 each, although he admitted that the number can be lower. The Prime Minister indicated that his administration has shifted the home ownership focus from building homes to selling residential service lots and he noted that these lots will be available across the Bahamas to allow as many people as possible to become homeowners. The first service lots in New Providence will be available for sale in June or July of this year. And these service lots will be provided for the uniformed branches initially, meaning nurses, policemen and women, immigration officers, customs officers, defense force officers, corrections officers, prison officers <laughs> and, and Mr. Speaker, Members teachers. The Prime Minister also listed some of the features that qualified homeowners will be able to enjoy. An essential feature, Mr. Speaker, of our program is that homeowners may choose their own contractors and monitor the work of their respective contractors. This provides both flexibility and control. And under this legislation, homeowners will be empowered to utilize the mortgage process, employed, employ their own architect and or contractor, thereby permitting homeowners to design the home of their choice. There will be additional savings Material for home building will be duty free, which may save homeowners again an additional thirty to forty thousand dollars, well in excess of one hundred thousand dollars. Well, the Prime Minister underscored the need for Bahamians to own their own land, and he says it's his government's intention to make sure that happens. They may also opt to use one of a number of pre-existing architectural plan offered by the government. And as I've said, Mr. Speaker, is our hope to give every Bahamian an opportunity to buy land in this, in their Bahamas, and construct home at an affordable price. The price in this country is now too high. And unless individuals who have money purchase land and provide for their children and grandchildren, others will not have an opportunity. And it's our job to provide opportunity for each and every Bahamian. Prime Minister Minnis also noted that legislation addressing commercial ownership will be tabled in Parliament next year that will enable Bahamians, particularly family islanders, to become entrepreneurs and establish their own businesses like the popular bed and breakfast resorts. Reporting live from the newsroom, I'm Altaviz Munnings, ZNS Network News.